Hey, I'm back with another book review. This time I'm reviewing the book, uh, the little book of Backyard Bird Songs. It's by Andrea Pennington and Kaz Buckingham. Recently got it about a month ago. Uh, I thought it was fitting for the summer season. My children really enjoyed it. It has these fun buttons on the side. Uh, it goes through 12 different birds that are native to the meadows and prairie lands of North America as well as the eastern woodlands. Um, this is the formula of the book. It names the bird, in this particular case, I don't know if you can see very clearly, the house wren, and then gives its scientific name. And then under that, there is a little paragraph just describing um, some facts about the bird. Goes into where the book is, where the, excuse me, where the bird is found. The house wren is found in backyards, parks, and shrubbery, what it feeds on, what its nest looks like and where it builds its nest, what its eggs look like, um, uh, how the adult males and females look in comparison to one another, and then the size of the bird. And then each little bird has a little blurb here that's, uh, did you know, the male may build several nests and the female then gets to choose the one she likes. So that sounds pretty good. <laughs> Um, so that's the house wren, and then it goes through 11 other birds in the same sort of style. Talks about the American goldfinch, the red-winged blackbird, killdeer, and the house finch. I just thought the house finch was the same thing as the cardinal, but they are different. I didn't know that until I read this book. They look so similar, but they're very different. <laughs> and then Great Horned Owl. I'll play that. Nice soothing sound. Then it also covers the Blue Jay, which is a member of the Corvus family. I learned that as well. Same family as crows, they're very intelligent birds. American robin, such a pretty and simple commonly found bird. Northern cardinal, my absolute favorite bird ever. Morning dove. This one has an interesting call. It's kind of similar to my ears to an owl, but um, much more melodic. Here's its call, I guess if you would call it that. So nice, yeah, I used to get that confused with the sound of an owl, but very different. It's the sound of a morning dove. <laughs> then we get to the American crow. Brilliant birds. And the song sparrow. So, yes, if you're looking for a fun book about birds to read to your children, this is a really good find because the kids can press the buttons and then they can also learn the sounds of the birds um, local to their area if they live in the prairie lands or um, eastern woodlands of North America. So, hope everyone's having a great day. See you next time. Bye.